Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse All Sports. I'm just wanting to bring you another quick video review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the DC870 Plus model. Um, so I'll just show you. You've got the same stickers you get on the DC uh, lower models, the 580s. So nothing's really changed, just as this model sticker here. Grains wise, you're looking at a Grade 2 English piece of willow. You've got nice, eight straight, fairly even grains. There's no blemishes on this one, so it's nice and clean. So hopefully you can see that there. Edge size wise, you're looking at a 40mm edge and a 65mm spine, so nice big specs. Uh, very full shape, very little wood taken out. And hopefully you can see the grains through the toe, it's a nice thick toe, no toe guard on these. And then you've got the stickers through the back. You've got the New Balance security sticker there and you've got the FC Sunday hologram sticker. Handle shape wise this is where it gets a little bit strange. You've got a nice medium thick semi oval at the bottom and then it seems to taper to a slightly thinner round in the middle and then it seems to go a little bit thicker towards the top of the handle. So the thinnest point is right in the middle of the handle so it gives the bat a slightly weird feel. You've got the New Balance embossed grip so what I would recommend is probably thickening that out with some either some medical tape or adding a second grip because it feels a little bit strange in the hands. Just show you the bow. Got a nice bow down towards the toe. So this one is weighing in at two pound eight point eight ounce. So it's a good weight. But balance wise, for me it probably feels its weight. It doesn't feel any lighter than its weight. And that's probably due to the handle, the shape of the handle and how it goes really thin in the middle. So I reckon if you add a second grip it's going to pick up a lot lighter. Um, but yeah, it probably feels 28.5, 29. Doesn't feel any lighter. And we'll just see how it taps up. So the rebound is pretty good straight out of the packet. What I would say it is quite soft this one. So it's a little bit softer than the other ones. So once it's been knocked in it is going to get a lot better. But the rebound is pretty good straight out of the packet. But you are getting quite a few deep seam indentations on the face just from tapping the ball up. So it's probably going to take a couple hours of knocking in and then some net sessions to get this one at its best. Um, but I reckon with a second grip and a bit of extra playing in, it's going to be a very good cricket bat. Um, so we'll move on now to bat number two. Uh, so bat number two again, you've got some nice grains on this one. I think you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven grains, you've got a couple of tighter ones just there. But they're pretty good looking grains. Again, for a grade two, it's a nice looking bat. You probably see a lot of grade one, grade one plus bats probably not have as many grains or as nice looking grains as this particular one. Shape wise, it's slightly different. You've got a higher middle position on this one and you've got a slightly offset edge which means the peak of the edge position is slightly lower than the peak of the middle position which is a little bit higher up there so it just pushes the weight a little bit further down um, and it just elongates that middle position and it's quite a long hitting area anyway it goes up to around about there all the way down to around about here so it's a nice long extended hitting area um, and just a very little amount of wood has been taken out so if you prefer a bat with a slightly higher middle then this is going to be a good option medium thick semi oval handle and then gradually tapers to a round and a little bit thinner at the top um, and if you have a look there just a gentle bow down towards the toe uh, these faces are all slightly rounded as are the edges and the toes are pretty flat this one's to 9.3 and it has a nice pickup with the higher middle and that offset edge it picks up and it probably feels like a 28 and a half it picks up lighter uh, than the 28.8 bat um, so it's nicely balanced and picks up very well as for the performance the pressing is a little bit firmer and the rebound is very good very responsive higher up as well and then goes well down towards the toe so yeah very good cricket bat uh, not as many seam indentations from tapping the ball up there hopefully you can see uh, so the pressing is a little bit firmer but it's a very good looking bat and the balance on this one is very good so both of these bats will be listed for £219.99 uh, normal price is around £300 
and you also get a free back cover and free UK mainland delivery as well. So a great saving to be had. So I hope you've enjoyed the video review. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do so. And I look forward to bringing you plenty more video reviews. So until next time, guys, stay safe. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.